What is going on guys, it is Panjana here and today I'm going to bring you guys the heavily updated PUBG 2019 update which includes the brand new remastered Orangul map. It's been a while since I've covered PUBG on the channel. Since the last PUBG guide on this channel, there's been many updates to the game, many updates to Windows itself, along with tons of new hardware hitting the market. So to ensure that you guys are getting the very best FPS possible for your machine, regardless of what sort of system hardware you might be running on, whether that be ultra low end, all the way up to the latest and greatest in gaming hardware, this video will be teaching you guys many techniques and helping you achieve the very best FPS for your machine. If you guys do end up happy with the results of this video, please leave a like on the video as it helps me out tremendously, alongside leaving any results, questions, queries, or suggestions for other content in the comment section down below. Alongside that, if you guys do enjoy content on this channel and you do enjoy videos like this, please do consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell notification to be notified instantly of whenever I upload. To start off with the guide, what you guys will need to do is navigate into the description down below and you'll be finding two download links. Simply click on the first download link if you're having issues downloading the file from that first download link, try out the second one. Once you guys have downloaded the file, put it onto your desktop and you'll be given a file named PUBG 2019 FPS Pack by Panj. What we're then going to do is simply right click on the file you've downloaded and then hit the Extract Here option. If you don't have the option for Extract Here, simply take yourself over to Google and either Google WinRAR or 7-Zip, download one of those programs, come back to this video, and you should then have the option to extract here. Once you guys have done that, you'll then be given a folder on your desktop with an identical name. With inside of the folder, you'll find all of the resources and things we're going to be going through throughout this guide to ensure that you guys are getting the very best performance possible, not just with inside of PUBG, but with every single game you play on your PC as well. So to kick things off, what we're going to be doing is actually ensuring that we're running on the best Windows platform possible to ensure that we have a good baseline to optimize upon. To do this, what we're going to be doing is making sure that we're running on the latest version of Windows 10. It's completely free to update, but with the latest version of Windows 10, which is currently 1903, there's been many optimizations towards gaming workloads, especially on many of you guys who are running on AMD Ryzen-based systems, other high multi-core CPUs. So to ensure that you guys are running on the latest version of Windows, or to check your version of Windows, take yourself to the bottom left-hand side, and we're going to be typing in WinVer, just like so, and then pressing Enter. But inside of here, the about Windows tab will open up, we're then going to look for Microsoft Windows, it will then say the version. As you can see, I'm running on 1903. If you guys are running on a newer version than 1903, if you're watching this video slightly later after its release, then that's absolutely fine, but if you're running on an older version of 1903, as many of the optimizations and tweaks we're about to apply will be reset when you update Windows, so it's best to do it now. So simply go ahead and press OK. If you guys are needing to update Windows or to check if there's a newer version of Windows out, simply take yourself down into the description down below and you'll find the Windows 10 update link. Inside of there, you'll then be brought to this web page. Go right to the top, go to the Windows 10 May 2019 update, select update now, download the tool and it will go ahead and update everything for you and get you up and running. You won't lose any files, it's completely safe to do and any Windows 10 user currently can update to that for free. So assuming you guys are now running on the latest version of Windows, make sure that you restart your machine and we're good to go. So to start off, what we're going to be doing is installing our customized, optimized 2019 configs for PUBG. To do this, simply take yourself into the FPS pack provided by double clicking and head inside of the configs folder. With inside of here, you'll be finding your in-game settings in which we can go through later on. But what we're going to be interested in doing is going into the high end, low end competitive, recommended competitive or ultra low end configs. Simply click on the folder which best matches your system description or how you wish your game to be set up. For most people, I'd recommend going with the recommended competitive. This will give you guys the best mixture of visuals and also many FPS tweaks alongside disabling some things which will help it easier for you to play and spot people as well, whilst keeping the game a good visual balance. So for me, I'm going to be going ahead with the recommended competitive config and with inside of there, you'll then be met with an app data config and game directory config. So to start off, we'll go ahead and install the app data config. To start off, what we'll do is drag this folder over to the right hand side and go inside of the update to config folder and you'll be met with game user settings. Inside of here, what we're then going to do is navigate to the bottom left hand side and type in percent, app data, percent, just like so, and press enter. Once you guys are inside of this folder, the roaming folder will then open up. Simply take yourself up to the top directory and click where it says app data. Then go ahead and proceed to go inside of the local folder. Then scroll all the way down to the T section and you're going to be looking for TSL game, just like so. Go inside of saved, go inside of config. And what we're simply then going to go ahead and do is drag the config found over here on the right hand side into your game directory and replace the file with inside of this destination. Once you guys have done that, we've now successfully installed our updates config and we can exit out of the left hand folder. At this point, we can go back into our configs folder, go back into the config folder you're using, then this time go inside of the game directory config and double click. To install these two configs, it's actually very simple and easy to do. Keep the folder open on the right hand side, then take yourself down into Steam. Go ahead and go over to PUBG. For most of you guys watching this, this will be player unknowns battlegrounds just like so. But for the purpose of this video, because I want to get this out for when the update actually hits live, it's currently on test server. So whenever you see me inside of Steam, I'm going to be using the test server. For you guys, make sure that you just use the base game as this update will already be out. So what you'll do is take yourself over to inside of PUBG, right click and go to game properties. Inside of the properties, what we're then going to start off by doing in the general tab is unchecking enable Steam overlay, unchecking use desktop theater, then going down to the Steam input per game setting, forcing this to off, and also going down to use BPM overlay and also forcing this off as well. Once you guys are done inside of there, take yourself up to the local files tab and then hit browse local files. Your game directory will then open up. 
At this point, we're going to go inside of the TSL game folder, go inside of config. With inside of here, this is the location we're going to install our customized configs. So again, take yourself over to the right hand side folder, highlight both of the configs, drag them into the game folder and replace the files with inside of this destination. Now that you've gone ahead and actually installed all of your optimized config files, we can take ourselves back into Steam once again and go to browse local files once again. Inside of here this time, we're going to apply some EXE or application fixes to the game to ensure that it's running completely perfectly for Windows. Head inside of the TSL game folder once again, this time going to binaries, Win64, and what we're going to be doing is right clicking on exec PUBG, just like so, and navigating down to properties. With inside of here, go to compatibility, check the box for disable full screen optimizations, go down to change high DPI settings, and override the high DPI scaling behavior performed by found down here. Press OK, press apply, and OK. We're then going to repeat that step for the TSL game application found here. At that point, what we can go ahead and do is actually exit out of the game folder as all of those optimizations have been applied. Piggybacking off of that step, what we can now go ahead and do is actually remove some default Windows 10 optimizations to full screen games with inside of the Windows registry. So to do this, what we'll do is navigate into the bottom left hand side and type in reg edit just like so. Once you've got that typed out, press enter. Then go ahead and press yes to open up the program. At this point, what we're going to be doing is navigating to the left hand side to H key current user. Go inside of that folder, then navigating down to the system folder. Double click on system, double click on game config store then go inside of children. With inside of here, what you're then gonna go ahead and do is press Control and F on your keyboard to find. And what we're gonna be doing is searching for TSL game, just like so, and hit find next. At this point, you'll then be given a folder. I'm gonna click on one of these randomly as I've already removed my folder, so it won't be able to find it. But what will happen is one of these folders will be highlighted. Simply go over to the highlighted folder, right click and delete the folder. It'll ask you if you wish to do this. Go ahead and press yes. Once it's been deleted, you can exit out of the registry editor as the optimization has been completed. Finishing up with the application fixes, we can then once again go inside of the FPS increase pack provided, and this time go inside of the optimizations folder. Navigate inside of the PUBG process priority folder and you'll be met with three keys. With inside of here, double clicking on any of these keys will defaultly set the value with inside of Windows whenever it boots. For instance, if you double click on PUBG high priority, the game will boot in high priority mode with inside of Windows automatically every time the game is booted. But for 99% of you watching this video, you'll find the best option here is to go with PUBG high priority and double click. So yes, once again, Again, and then press OK and that optimization has been completed. Assuming that we've now installed our customized and optimized config files alongside tweaked and applied optimizations to the application itself, last but not least for the game specific optimizations, what we can go ahead and do is actually boot into the game to finalize the game and set up our in-game settings correctly to correspond with the configs in which we've installed. Now before we go ahead and actually boot into the game, make sure that you take yourself into the FPS increase pack once again, and once again go inside of the configs folder. This time what you'll do is you'll go inside of the in-game settings folder in which we saw earlier on, and again with inside of here you'll click on the in-game settings that best match your system description or what you're looking for. For me I'm going to be going with the high-end config as this offers many FPS optimizations and best performs for high-end systems and offers extremely good FPS. So it's best that you click on the settings that best match your system spec for the best results. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on high end. With inside of here, you'll be given a notepad which lists all of the in-game settings we're going to be setting up with inside of our game. These will be the best options to set for your system spec, allowing you guys the best visual fidelity, the best graphics, alongside giving you a slight competitive edge and the very best performance possible. So once you guys have got the notepad open of the game settings you're going to be using, what we'll do is we'll actually navigate down into Steam and we'll boot into the game. Now, once you guys have booted into the game, take yourself up to the top right hand side to the settings cog, then go ahead down to the settings tab and then start off by going over to graphics. Now to start off before we do anything, go down to display mode and actually set this to windowed and set the resolution to 1280 by 720 and press apply. This will put your game into a windowed mode which is very easy to use and then what we can go ahead and do is open up the notepad and drag the notepad to the right hand side of the screen. That makes it very simple and easy so you can actually go ahead and set up all of these without having to tab in and out. So you can simply look at the right hand side of the screen, find the option that corresponds to what we're going to be setting here on the left hand side, setting that option, making sure they all match and then pressing apply. Once you guys have finished off with all of the graphics options and advanced graphics options, make sure that you do take yourself up to the gameplay tab found here at the top as there is many important tweaks and optimizations found within inside of here as well, which are listed down here on the bottom right hand side. Once you guys have applied all of those optimizations and applied all of those settings, press the apply button and we can then go ahead and exit out of the game to further optimize windows to correspond with the optimizations we set for our game earlier on. So kicking things off, what we're going to be doing is navigating to the bottom left hand side, clicking on the windows key and typing in power space plan just like so and clicking on any of the options available with inside of here. Doesn't matter what the option says, just click on anything with the battery and the cord going around it. Little icon found there. Once you guys are inside of here, navigate up to the top where you can see hardware and sound, power options, click on the power options tab, and you'll then be brought to the customized power plan. Take yourself over to the show additional power plans menu found with inside of here, and we're then going to be looking for the balanced, high performance, and power saver power plans. 
For the majority of you guys watching this video, if you haven't done this before, you will not be seeing the ultimate performance power plan. But every single person watching this video currently, regardless of your system spec, as long as you're running on Windows 10, you can unlock the ultimate performance power plan with inside of there using a quick tweak found with inside of the FPS increase pack. This is completely safe, easy, and free to do, and I'd highly recommend applying this as it's one of the most important fixes with inside of here. So what we're going to be doing for now is just minimizing the power options, navigating into the FPS increase pack once again, this time navigating down to the command text document and double clicking. With inside of here, what we're then going to be doing is navigating all the way to the right hand side, highlighting everything, right clicking and selecting copy. We can then exit out of the notepad. We can then take ourselves back down to the left hand side once again, this time typing in CMD just like so. And before we actually open up the command prompt, make sure that you do right click on the command prompt and open it as an administrator. If you don't open the program as an administrator, this command will not be recognized and nothing will happen. Once command prompt has opened up as an administrator, simply then take yourself over and press control and then V on your keyboard at the same time. It will then paste in the command and then press enter. Once you guys have done that, you'll then be met with the power scheme GUID, ultimate performance power plan met with inside of there. Once you guys see that message, simply exit out of the command prompt as that is now completed. You can then take yourself back down to the power options we minimized earlier on, hit the refresh button in the top right hand side and you should then be seeing the ultimate performance power plan with inside of Windows 10. Take yourself over to the highlighting icon, highlight it just like so, so it's selected, and we can then exit out as that optimization has now been completed. Piggybacking off of that step to further complement it and to set Windows up properly for it, what we have to do now is navigate to the bottom left hand side and type in reg edit just like so, like we did earlier on. Once you guys have typed that, press enter and then press yes. You can then navigate out of all of the folders with inside of here until you're back to the starting folders just like so. This time we're going to be going inside of the H key local machine, then navigating down to software. Double click on software, scroll all the way down to the M section and we're going to be looking for Microsoft. Double click on Microsoft. Now if for any reason you do find yourself getting lost with inside of here or you're not entirely sure if you're in the right location, you can simply look at the top of my screen here to the directory. As long as your directory up here looks very similar to mine, you're in the correct location. So once we're inside of Microsoft, we're going to scroll all the way down to the W section and we're looking for the folder titled Windows NT. Double click on Windows NT, double click on current version. With inside of here, we're then going to scroll all the way down to the M section once again and find multimedia. Double click on multimedia, then click on system profile once. Once you guys have clicked on system profile, take yourself over to the right hand side and look for the system responsiveness key. Double click on this key and we're going to be setting the value differently depending on your system specs. So if you guys are running on ultra low end, low end or medium end systems, you want to set the value data to 1. For any of you guys running on higher end medium end systems, all the way up to high end or ultra high end brand new gaming PCs, set the value data to 0. Once you guys have got that set to match your system spec, press OK. We can then double click on the system profile folder, go inside of tasks, and then go down to games. But inside of here, we're simply going to be changing four options, just like we did with the system responsiveness. We're going to start off by going over to GPU priority and double clicking. Set the value data of GPU priority to 8 and press OK. Then navigating down to priority, setting this value data to 6 and pressing OK. Then navigating down to scheduling category, setting the value data to HIGH, which is high. And then pressing OK, and then doing the exact same thing for SFIO priority. So double click, set this to high, press OK, and what we can then go ahead and do is actually exit out of the registry editor as those optimizations have now been applied. That basically allows Windows to prioritize other heavy workloads alongside games with inside of Windows for the best and most optimal performance. And last but not least, to finish off all of the power mode options, what we can now go ahead and do is actually navigate into the FPS increase pack once again, go inside of the optimizations folder, and find the setup for quick CPU setup version 3010. So what you'll do is simply double click on the setup, go ahead and select next, accept the terms, select next, next, and install. After a few short moments, the program will then be set up. Simply select the launch option found here at the bottom and press finish. You might be asked to update the program. You can update it if you wish to do so, but I typically just press close. Then with inside of here, all we're going to be doing is simply setting up four different options and it's very simple and easy to do. To start off, we're going to be taking ourselves up to the power data plan found here, going into the drop down menu and selecting the ultimate performance power plan that we set up earlier on. We're then going to take ourselves down to the bottom left hand side, starting off by going over to core index and just dragging the slider all the way up to 100%. But then going to follow that same step for the frequency scaling index, so again, 100%. And for some of you guys out there, you might not have this option, but if you do, go to Turbo Boost Index, and again, drag this all the way up to 100%. Once you guys have got all of those set to 100%, and the ultimate performance set in the top left-hand side, go ahead and press the Apply button, and the changes will then successfully be applied, and you can then go ahead and press OK. Proceeding on from there, we can then apply a few extremely quick and extremely effective tweaks to not just Windows itself, but some programs with inside of Windows that most people will use as well. So at this point, before we get on with the last and final step of the video, there's one last thing we're going to be doing before restarting our PC to continue on with the guide. 
For this, what we're going to be doing is now we're going into the FPS increase pack by double clicking, going inside of optimizations, and we're going to be going over to the GPU settings folder. Well, inside of the GPU settings folder, you'll be finding screenshots for both Nvidia and AMD Radeon's graphics card drivers. These are the control panels you can access by right clicking on your desktop and either opening the Nvidia control panel or the Radeon settings panel. But inside of there, those screenshots will show you clearly and easily which are the best settings to set with inside of there for the best performance of your graphics card. And yes, this will help drastically with most GPUs, so make sure that you do it. It takes a couple of seconds. I'm not going to show it in this video because it's so easy to follow along with. Also, for anyone running on an NVIDIA GeForce graphics card, make sure that you also double click on the NVIDIA Profile Inspector by double clicking like so, selecting yes. Once the program opens up, what we're simply going to be doing is navigating over to the left hand side, going down to number two, which is sync and refresh, going over to the frame rate limiter mode, double clicking, going into the drop down menu once it's editable, and navigating down to 0x0004, PS frame rate limiter, control delay flip by flip. Just make sure that the number is set to 0x0004 and you're completely good to go. Once that's then been set, apply those changes in the top right hand side. You can then exit out. At this point, there is only one last step to do, and it's one of the most important within inside of this video. But before we get on with that, make sure that you do take yourself to the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows key, right click on the power options, and just simply give your PC a quick restart. As we've applied many Windows tweaks, optimizations, and changed other settings, so just to make sure that everything is completely changed over, make sure that you just restart your PC, log back into Windows, come back to this video, and we can continue on with the last and final step. Welcome back to the video, guys. Now, to continue on with the last and final step, what we're finally going to be doing is going into the FPS increase pack one last time going inside of the optimizations folder and dragging the folder for the ISLC version 1016 onto your desktop. Once you guys have got that on your desktop, simply go ahead and minimize it. Go inside of the folder and you'll be met with the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner program found with inside of here. So to open the program, simply go ahead and double click and select yes. If the program doesn't open up with inside of your desktop, take yourself down to the bottom right hand side, click on the icon tray and you're going to be looking for the small heartbeat monitor looking logo found in the bottom right. Simply double click on that and then the program will open up. So to set the program up correctly, your values will be looking slightly different to mine and we're going to be setting them up to match our system specs. So to start off, what we're going to be doing is taking ourselves over to the left hand side and starting off with the initial list size. With inside of here, what we're going to be doing is setting this to 1024. What we're then going to be doing is going down to and free memory is lower than box found with inside of here, so the second box. And what we're going to be doing is setting this value with inside of here to half of your total system memory or RAM. As you can see, I'm using 16 gigabytes of RAM or 16,000 megabytes. So whichever the number is found with inside of here, just roughly half this number. So for me, I have 16,000. So I'm going to be going with 8196, just like so. Your number will more than likely be different, so make sure that you half your number. What we're then going to be doing is also going over to the right hand side, checking the option for enable custom time resolution and set the value of 0 0.50, just like so. Delete all the rest of the values off the end of it so it just looks very similar to that. We're then going to go down to the memory polling rate. With inside of this drop down menu, what you're simply going to be doing is you're going to be setting a higher value for the better spec system you have. So if you guys are running on lower end systems, I'd recommend going with either 1000 or 2000, but I recommend sticking with a value of 500 at max. So once you've got that all set up, we can take ourselves up to the top to purge standby list and then down to the bottom right hand side to select start. I also like checking the options in the bottom left hand side to ensure that the program opens up automatically on system boot. It's completely safe, easy, free, and it's one of the most important, if not the most important tweak within inside of this entire video. So once the program has opened up and you've got it all running and everything, just go ahead and minimize the program and then it should just be running in the task tray below. At this point, the last and final thing to do is to take yourself over to Steam, go to PUBG and hit play. And there you guys have it, that is the ultimate FPS increase guide to PUBG with inside of mid-2019, and more importantly, the Erangel V2 update. Again guys, if you guys did enjoy this video and are happy with the results, please do leave a like on the video as it helps me out tremendously. Alongside leaving any results, questions, queries, or suggestions for other content or games you'd like to see me cover on this channel, in that comment section down below as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys. And as always guys, if you guys do enjoy content like this and you do wish to stay up to date with the channel, please do consider pressing the subscription button and the bell notification to be notified instantly of whenever I upload. Whether that be community suggested content, new games that are coming out, other tweaks or updates to guides such as the PUBG guide with inside of here whenever significant updates come out. Thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch this video guys. I'm Panjano and I'll see you in the next one.